Okay, this is the last uh, concept generation method that I want to talk about. Uh, it's one using what we call morphology tables. And I'm going to demonstrate it uh, using this nail gun example. So what we can do is we can take a nail gun and we can separate it out into its different components. We can look on the inside and the input side and put inputs. And those inputs, excuse me, would have um, different types of uh, inputs such as energy, materials, uh, or a signal. And those are our inputs and then we have something happening in this black box. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then there's outputs from this box. Uh, energy, uh, material, and in our case our driven nail, and then maybe some signal. And you'll see we have energy, we don't know what kind in this case, some nails, that was our material that's going into this black box, and then we have some trip tool. We'll talk about that in a second. So let's take a look at this black box. So we have some energy that's coming in. We can accept the energy and store it, and then we want to put it in some translational type of movement because we want to drive this nail in. We have nails that are stored in a rail kind of situation, and we want to isolate each of those uh, nails, and then we want to use this energy onto the nail to drive it into whatever the, the wood or whatever we have. This trip tool is a sense tool that makes sure that the end of the nail gun is actually touching uh, like the wood surface that we want. So we aren't just shooting the nails in the air, that's actually on some surface. Uh, if that sense is uh, uh, detected, then we can pull the trigger and then that will tell it to isolate the nail and then also translate that energy in. So what we can do is we can take this black box and look at these different areas and uh, come up with different concepts. We can use brainstorming to come up with multiple concepts. So let's do that. So here we have our energy. We're going to convert our energy into different types of translational type ways. One is to use some rotary motion motor with a transmission. We can use some linear motor. We could use a solenoid. We could use a rail gun. Uh, we're going to accumulate this energy with a spring or maybe a moving mass. Uh, and then we want to apply it. And we could apply it multiple ways, right? We could do a single impact, which is pounding it in once. We could hammer it in multiple times. Or we could just push and just drive that nail in. So how do we use that? Let's take a look. What we do is we use this table then and select one of uh, the methodologies from each of the columns. So we're going to take a solenoid and a spring and multiple impacts. So down here, this is our solenoid, and as the solenoid is energized, this mass is brought back up into the spring where it is accumulating energy. When the solenoid current is released, this mass will uh, be thrown forward by the energy in the spring and impact uh, the nail. And this can be turned on and off multiple times very quickly, and you'll get this hammering uh, impact uh, of, the, of the nail. So that's one method. We could pick another one, say maybe like this rotary motor with a spring and a single impact, right? We could do it kind of like this. And there's many different ways we could use a rotary motor. Here we have one with a rack and pinion kind of setup with some missing teeth on this side. And as it rotates up, this rack will go up and into the spring. So we're kind of collecting our energy with the spring and then it will drive it down with one big impact. Or we could use a cam and do a similar type thing, uh, throw it in, you know, push it into the spring, and then it gets to this side of the cam and it will release all that energy right away. So these are some different methods of creating multiple uh, kind of concepts. Here's another example. We could use a linear motor with a moving mass and do a single impact, right? We could have this linear motor where it drives this mass around and slams it in or we could bring it up and then bring it back down uh, in, into the nail right in one big uh, impact. We could use uh, again this motor uh, rotary trans rotary motor with transmission and a spring with multiple impacts right we could do this 
We go around and around, and as it goes up and down, it'll impact the snail multiple times. Uh, could be another method. So we use this table and pick different uh, methods uh, from each column, and we can generate many different concepts, right? We can use the same concept of the spring many times or a moving mass many times with different types of uh, motor or, or energy translations in the beginning and then apply it many different ways. So this is another uh, more maybe advanced way of uh, generating concepts. Uh, this will be the last one that we'll, we'll use. Now that we've generated all these concepts, we need to take this and use concept selection to narrow down the concepts that we really want to work on.